Hi and welcome. I'm Sharon Martin and I bring through transmissions and messages from Gaia, from the goddess Lady Gaia, this being that holds us and loves us so dearly. And I want today to just say to you a little brief message of this time we're going through right now, which she is referring to as planetary reincarnation. So if it is that these kinds of messages from her appeal to you, if you'd like to follow the work and, and get messages from our beautiful planetary goddess Lady Gaia on a regular basis, please subscribe to the channel. So yeah, this, this time, it's this very brief um, window of time that I, that I want to speak to you about now. So in general, we're going through this, this time space that can be called a shift in um, time and space. That's what it's called. It's as though we're being shunted onto a new planetary timeline. And, and Gaia is referring to that as reincarnation. So I've already spoken about that, but the matter that I want to speak to you about today is this intense energy that we are going through. She describes it as lasting a, a, a cycle of nine days. It, be, it began earlier in the week, and this is my first opportunity to get to put this out to you. So I'll just refer to my notes. She showed, um, she showed that this was going to take us into our new earth. Um, it was like this, she showed me this kind of fountain shape about it. And she says this next segment of time, so from the 15th to the 23rd, is going to be explosive and implosive all at the same time. As is people are going to kind of be energetically segmented off. So people's woundings and issues that need to be cleared, this is kind of like a the super highway of purging. It's as though they are going to be rubbing shoulders with one another so that it becomes exponential and and it either comes up and goes out or it goes in and uh, gets gets dissolved. So she's saying it's sort of going to look like people are congregated into segments to expand exponentially the energy represented by each sector. So this is the analogy, if you like. So this builds monumental of energy for a huge catalyst of change through the Equinox Gateway, which is you know they're around the 21st. This rubbing of shouldered shoulders with like souls, with like vibrations and like gifts and wounds and issues. It's a powerful completion of what she calls a rotation of change. Preparation for more of this, more of the new. And she is saying it's going to have this effect like a mirroring reflection times a zillion. That's how strongly it's going to be amplified. We're going to be reflecting this to, to one another. So it might be, it depends on where you're at and what's happening, but it might be that it shows up in you as this puffing up in your chest, this personality, ego response or reaction to what is shown or illustrated, what is mirrored and reflected to you and back to them. And so to look at it and process it, but the first thing is to own it, it's yours. Be accountable for it. Uh, you need to decide will you respond to it or will you react to it. You know, that is that is your choice. So once you've decided that, then you can sink into this place of inquiry, of self-inquiry. What is this? Feel it. Create a sensory experience of it out of the mind. Don't go into the mind, don't label it, don't give it a noun. Go into the adjectives, go into the descriptors. Feel it as a sensory experience in your 
body. So, you know, this is, don't get attached to it, don't create a story or a narrative around it because you want to be either um, diffusing and dissolving it and, and then integrating it or if it's really big, you might kind of project it out and, and in a way, you know, it would be good if you didn't have to do that. Um, so just sit with it, accept it. And, um, and go into the body. So where am I feeling this in the body? And what what does it feel like? What is my experience of it? The size of it, the color, the temperature, the energy message that it might have for you. It might have some words for you. And then feel it without dropping into it. Just feel it as that experience. Where is it in the body? Really feel it, sort of sink into it, dance with that energy a little bit, but make sure you're in the body and not not in the head. So this is this powerful time of exponential purging so that we can move with the planet. Um, this shifting of timelines and it's this explosive energy that's allowing us to shift to a higher place in our own physical ascension process. So go well with it, go gently with self, know that you know, we really are moving through very exciting times of change and that there there's a lot of support for you energetically and on a planetary basis and there are many, many people like me around the world who are here to support. So reach out to somebody if you need help with this process and try not to drop into the, the bottom of it, if you like, into the big painful story of it. Just see that this is an experience that's come up to be looked at, to be felt and then to be dissolved and absorbed and integrated into your body. And as you do that process, that it gives you the power to make choices. You know, it's not about rejecting these experiences and these emotional feelings. It's about navigating them, absorbing them and integrating them. So then you have that power over your response. And then you choose response and not reaction. And then you can look at it and feel, well, what is my emotional response to this going to be? And you can make a choice. So that's uh, where lots of people are at at the moment, but it's all about moving into the new. It's like taking one of those snow globes and giving it a great big shake. That's what's happening in our cellular and energetic bodies at the moment. So that all of those last little bits are, are coming up with an opportunity to clear so we can be in great shape for moving into the new. So that's just a little brief message for this time. Have a beautiful, wonderful week looking after you. And, you know, look after you in the best and most amazing way that you possibly can. Because this... You know, really, this is the ride of our lives. This is what we came to the earth to do. This is what we came to experience and work with and assist one another. And so, so much love to you from the heart of Gaia and from my heart. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions in energy healing and Akashic readings. And for those of you seeking clarity of life purpose and direction, the instructions to book a session are below. Infinite blessings and much love to you.